Greetings, this is Airy TV News broadcast live from our headquarters in Asmara. It's 10.30 p.m. Saturday, November 27. I'm the reporter Mira Mihanis with your daily updates and here's a rundown of the top stories for tonight's English news segment. Announcement from the Ministry of Health. Arota College of Medicine and Health Science graduates 230 students. Japan approved a request for an extra defense budget. Cumber Vieja volcano ejecting powerful jets of lava and clouds of smoke in Spain. And now we proceed to the details for the local news. We have an announcement from the Ministry of Health. 20 patients have been diagnosed positive for COVID-19 and tests are carried out today at quarantine centers and testing stations in the southern, central and Ansaba regions. Out of these, 10 patients are from testing stations in Maidama 6, Dibarwa 2, Araza 1 and Mindafara 1, southern region. Eight patients are from quarantine centers 5 and testing stations 3 in the central region. Two patients are from testing stations in Hamel Malo 1 and Elaborat 1, Ansaba region. On the other hand, 28 patients who have been receiving medical treatment in hospitals in the southern region 24 and central region 4 have fully recovered and have been discharged from these facilities. The total number of recovered patients has accordingly increased to 7,076, while the number of deaths stands at 60. The total number of confirmed cases in the country to date has increased to 7,305. Ministry of Health, Asmara, November 27, 2021. At a ceremony held today, November 27, at the Asmara University compound, the Orota College of Medicine and Health Science graduated 230 students, including 121 females, in degree and diploma. The graduates were 136 in degree program, including 36 doctors in general medicine, 27 in, clinic, in clinical laboratory science, 9 in optometry, 7 in nursing, 3 in ophthalmic, 32 in pharmacy, and 22 in public health, and 94 were in diploma, including 88 in nursing, 3 in pharmacy, 1 as laboratory technician, 1 in radiology, and 1 in environmental health. Speaking at the event, Dr. Yamane Siyum, Dean of the college, said that human resources development in the health sector is the cornerstone among top priority strategies in the country. Dr. Yamane went on to say that the Orta College of Medicine and Health Science is determined to produce competent, compassionate, disciplined, and knowledgeable health professionals who will be committed to satisfy the health needs of the society through provision of a successful equitable, affordable, and efficient care service. Representative of the graduates on his part, commending for the opportunity they were provided, expressed commitment to diligently serve the society with their profession. The Tourism Department in the Southern Region organized training focusing on the role of media in the development of tourism sector. The training program that was organized in Mentefera on November 24 included types of social media, significance and application of social media, positive and negative influence of social media, as well as strength and shortcomings of social media. Indicating that the training program will have significant contribution in developing their understanding on the positive and negative consequences of the social media, the trainees expressed conviction to apply the training they received in the development of tourism sector in the country. They also asked for organizing sustainable tours to historical sites in the region so that they play a due role in promoting the sites. The training program was attended by the members of the Ministry of Tourism from the 12 subzones of the southern region. Stay with us, we'll be back with the international news after this short break. Welcome back. 
Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida's cabinet approved a 770 billion Japanese yen, which is equivalent to 6.8 billion U.S. dollars, yesterday regarding a request for an extra defense budget through March to expedite the purchase of missiles, anti-submarine rockets and other weapons amid rising concern over the escalation of military activities by China, Russia and North Korea. The request of pending parliamentary approval is a record for an extra defense budget and will bring Japan's military spendings for the current year to a new high of more than 6.1 trillion yen, that is 53.2 billion U.S. dollars, up to 15 percent from 2020. Kishida has said he's open to doubling Japan's military spending to cope with the worsening security environment. Critics also say Japan, as the world's fastest aging country with a shrinking population, should allocate more money towards health care and other services. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has renewed his pledge to consider all options, including acquiring enemy base strike capability to protect the country amid growing threats from China and North Korea. Spain's Cumbre Vieja volcano in La Palma appeared to be more active today, ejecting powerful jets of lava and clouds of smoke high into the sky. Authorities on Thursday reported another vent had emerged as volcanic activity showed no sign of abating since the volcano first erupted on September 19. La Palma Airport remained shut after closing over the weekend due to the accumulation of ash and the regional government warned residents rain on Friday could cause mudslides. Until Wednesday, the lava stream had engulfed 1,073 hectares of land according to the European Union satellite monitoring system Copernicus and the eruption has damaged or destroyed nearly 2,700 buildings forcing the evacuation of thousands from their homes on the island. Following is a recap of tonight's major headlines. Announcement from the Ministry of Health Arota College of Medicine and Health Science graduates 230 students. Japan approved a request for an extra defense budget. Cumbre Vieja volcano ejecting powerful jets of lava and clouds of smoke in Spain. That's all from us for now. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.